Hi guys, this is Coach Oscar. It's been a nice experience in the men's camp. Now I've been having some fantastic experience in hearing men that have been in uh, marriage for many years sharing experience. I've got this huge one. I call him the big show. Andrew, please, can you come, man? Yeah, for sure. He's been telling us about something I'm very honest when it comes to dealing with your spouse. And he made a very valid and profound point when he said if you are not faithful for the little yeah then it will be difficult for god to even trust you for the big ones yeah. so please can you share no, come sir <clears throat> yeah hi guys Let's my name you. is uh, andrew oscar asked me just to share a little something i shared with a bunch of men last night about 80 guys just a part of my my story and um the story is really that it was a 20 year old lie that i kept from my wife and um you know the freedom that came with me sharing that uh, lie to my wife it's, it's it really is a God story so um, you know we often struggle in business or we struggle financially or we struggle in certain areas of our lives because we are holding on to a little lie in my mm. case a lie mm. and because of me holding on to that lie you don't flourish in other areas so what I was saying to Oscar is simply you know yeah. come clean on the little lies of the world and um, God will then entrust you with more but Business won't necessarily flourish if we are not found faithful in those little things. God will not entrust us in the bigger things. Andrew, I want to ask you something. I have to do with my wife. I know she somehow might be watching this. Cool. Um, maybe we have an agreement to say, okay, fine, meet me at this point at this time. Leave your office, let's say at 5, 3, so we can meet. Mm. And then it ends up that she will already be there mm. while I haven't left. And then she calls, babe, where are you? Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm on the way. Whereas I'm sitting. Now, I know how we feel to now come clean and say, oh, at the time you called, I haven't actually left. Mm. So sometimes you just lie and keep lying. How did it feel like when you were before, before you open up? Yeah. What happened? Now, look, it's, it's, uh, there's anxiety. I mean, you, your wife will call you by your first name. So it's no more pet names. There's no more babes <laughs> and ho ho and whatever pet name you might have. Uh. She called you by your name, Andrew. Mm. And um, immediately there's an anxiety that that comes upon you and um, you know what you you once you share that lie mm. I promise you there's just immediate Release. immediate freedom um, and it's you know hopefully people now, don't wait 20 years to to confess and come clean on certain things um, yeah and then Andrew I want to ask you this last question after you open up to your wife yeah. and then once you let out the truth mm. Afterwards, what happened? Can you tell us about the no, transformation sure, yeah. that took place? Look, I mean, it's, um, you know, when you keep secrets in the, in the dark, it remains exactly there. But the minute you bring it into the light, it's mm. got absolutely no more hold on you. Mm. And, I mean, the, what it's done for our relationship, my wife and myself, it's just taken us from a, a very solid relationship mm -hmm. to something I could never have imagined. So it's so much stronger, so much closer. And um, at the end of the day, it's God center then my wife, then my kids, and then the everything else. So it's, um, yeah, God's And yesterday marriage. you mentioned about nine years you haven't touched alcohol. How do you yes, do this? Look, it's a, How do you do this? Yeah, look, I mean, I, I'll be honest, not in my own strength. I, um, oh, it was a word from God. It, uh, the, God used the voice of my then nine-year-old daughter. Mm. And um, while I was in uh, intoxicated state in my vehicle, she sat in the back seat and she used a simple word, or the Holy Spirit used my nine-year-old daughter to say the following words dad why are you not driving are you feeling dizzy that was her language for me being drunk mm. and um i haven't touched it since so really it is a god story god stepped into my story pulled me out of that that uh that addiction because that's what it was an alcohol addiction um and here i am nine years later i haven't craved it I haven't touched it and mm. i'd love to say it's me but it was God working yeah. through me and it's uh, he gets all the glory for that yeah thank you so much Andrew cool, for your time I really I appreciate God. that good stuff thank you so much hello guys I'm sure you've picked mm -hmm. one or two things from his story life is all about the lessons and the people that we deal with now no one can actually succeed on his own that's the more reason why most of the time we try to crave and find solution learn from other people I tr strongly believe that you've learned and you've known what else you to stop keeping secrets Go out and come clean. Thank you.